Hello. I'd like to call to order this uh, Berwick Select Board meeting to review budgets. Um, everybody's here except for uh, Mike. And uh, let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There's no public to make a public comment, so first public comment is closed. Um, Second public comment? <laughs> you know, we'll get to that after we do the uh, final budget review. So, what is left to review? We're just looking at the final totals. A couple follow-ups. Um, I sent some further information. I had a request for 7% um, for two library employees. I, oh, I saw that, yeah. provided, sorry, I didn't print it out. Uh, I think I did. What's that gonna cost? It's not, a, it's not a significant difference on the budget. <coughs> yeah, we'll be going from the 6% we had talked about up to 7%, yeah, basically. Yeah, they did a study right. and they're way under, right there. Right. You wanna see it? That's what he sent out about the library. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Me neither. <clears throat> just, just some up, further updates. Uh, so we'll make an adjustment. So that'll be a, a, a minor ad adjustment to the library budget. Um, road, road projects was increased. Um, so 250000 will come from taxpayer and then the rest, uh, 550, and that for go. That's from the undesignated fund. Yes. Right. So, yeah, so 550 oh, will come from a designated What's fund. the total on roads? 800,000. That's good. We're getting yeah. towards a million. We're, we're getting there. That's it. We're, <laughs> yeah. Our goal is going up next year. So that, um, it's a 1.33% difference. Um, and I, depending on what our revenues are, Depending on school funding, um, Lisa and I will be submitting that amendment we discussed about being able to use undecided fund balance to further offset our tax levy. So that is coming next meeting or so. Um, uh, BCM budget was um, adjusted to uh, reflect the BCM director at $29 an hour and the assistant director at 23 and uh, an increase for mileage. Sorry, I'm not going in any order. You want me to slow down? No, you won't. Emergency management was increased to 6000 for this year to make the total for 10000 So now that's, we have 10000 in that budget. Um, just to go over, I have a pretty conservative, um, one on the one of the last pages is just that uh, the capital improvements is 1,182,060. Um, just have a pretty conservative estimate of where we think, or where I think the undesignated fund balance spendable is about 1.5 million. <clears throat> Again, I think that's a conservative number. So spending what we have, uh, spending what we have allotted for here, then based on your estimates, we'd still have about four hundred thousand in reserve, uh, in excess of the reserve we needed. Correct. Right. Okay. Now here's a question: We have a we have the non-spendable reserve. What is the purpose of the non-spendable reserve? Like I, I, at any point, can it never? Is it never to be spent ever? I think it's the rainy day funds. You yeah. know, in the <clears throat> so like in the in the most extreme of emergencies, it is. Uh, I believe it's set up so that if you know, for some reason we had no revenues coming in at all yeah. or very ex restricted revenues, would have at least a month's 
worth, worth of money. money to pay bills. Right. Yeah. You know, assuming that we wouldn't have to spend it all in that one month. Yeah. Um, and I believe it, that's not a state thing, is it? Or is that? And I think that thought that was something that the the town put in back in geez, yeah, I see. twelve years or so ago, I think maybe. <laughs> Was was it was the first time I remember seeing that, and it was before we got back on. Um, so it's always been there for the last nine years. I know that. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a law, but no, I, I, it's I recommended. Know. It's recommended by MMA to do three months. I I don't know if it's. It might be. I don't think it's a law, but. It's recommended to do um, three months, but the town of Berwick's policy says 12 and a half percent for um, in the event that we didn't don't have revenues coming in, which I mean, we saw during even COVID that that didn't happen. So. Yeah, yeah I, I believe I believe that was it's the town ordinance that was voted on. I'm not like I said, it, it, about 12 years ago or so that I first remember seeing it show up. And, and that was shortly after the 2008, you know, <laughs> meltdown. So there were times that we didn't have much money coming in. That's, that's very uh, reasonable thinking. <clears throat> Anything else to highlight in terms of changes? I... I believe that covers most of it. Um, you also got us more information on the the uh, visiting nurses. Yes, the uh, hospice care stuff. Um, as a they were looking for essentially a subscription payment. Um, I don't feel that uh, strongly. But. I, I do have one comment. Um, where'd you get the number for the county tax? Oh, it's an estimate. Do you have a better number? Yeah. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do or anything, uh, but you might want to go up just a little bit. Okay. 300,000 is a nice round number. You just not a normal plug in, but I think we have a better source here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always guesstimate on those. That in the school is always a guess. <laughs> Yeah, we put in four percent for the county. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just an estimate. Four point one this year. It's going to come in at four point one. Four point one, okay. Yeah. At least that's what the projected. We don't have a final one yet. Sure. Might have happened to look at my work before I came down. And oh, wonderful. Cool. Yeah, we'll update that. Um, and as it's not much. To it. Oh, good estimate. I think the school might be again. It's a conservative amount. Just. Based off the well, based on the estimated revenue, so that's why that's a that's the estimate. But we'll we'll hear more accurate numbers as they finish their budget process. When do they done their budget? I don't think they're that far behind ours. So I imagine in the next <clears throat> few weeks to a month. You don't hear anything. What kind of increase they're going to give us? I I heard that they're attempting as much as possible to keep their budget flat as much as possible, but they're they're losing revenue. So even by keeping their budget flat, it's still going to reflect it in the app. Didn't they lose like a million something? I think it's, state? when I talked to Dwayne, uh, he said there's $2 million. Two million. From where? Just from state. They lost. Different sh right. revenue sharing. Because our valuations in all three towns went up significantly. So as that valuation goes up, that yeah, money goes down. The state kicks down less. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Until the state eventually raises the the bar again, at some point, yeah. hopefully in the near future, you know. But don't count on them working any faster. Or well, it, it took took them decades to get to the fifty five percent that we yeah. voted in decades ago. Right. <clears throat> that was one of the most irritating things about being a legislator is hearing all the excuses of why they so could long. never get there. Yeah. They just didn't want to tax people all at once and they don't want to be the bad guys nobody ever wants to be the bad guys mm -hmm. right. but why why are we leasing the police, police cruises i believe that's something that uh steve 
put into place. And I think it's worked well for the department. Just to, well, too. it's lease purchase. Right. Yeah, lease to purchase. We end up with the vehicle oh, at the, the end. Lease purchase. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It right. just seems to work well to um, kind of hit the point before we start doing all that maintenance to trade them in and make sure all the cars stay on the roads and not have to pay absorbent maintenance fees. Well, yeah, if it's a lease purchase, yeah, if it was just a lease, would be just right. Money. Yeah, no. <clears throat> Does anybody feel strongly about paying the subscription for the uh, hospice services? I think we should. It's six thousand six hundred something like that. Yep. Six hundred. What's the amount of stuff they do? Yeah. Twenty five hundred visits in the course of a year, right? Yeah. yeah. I think then six percent of the Medicaid patients. I don't know if I would recommend the whole six thousand, but I think we do a partial payment. Six thousand. I mean, six six thousand is quite a bit. I mean, it is. Yeah, it's it it's. What are other towns paying? I think uh, the variations of zero to the. I don't know who's even paying a full request. <clears throat> Yeah, they originally requested it was based on our population and you know, what was it, eighty cents per resident or something yeah, like it was that. Something like that. It was a it was how they how they figured it out. Um, no, I, I I think they do do you no know, a lot for the people in Berwick. Oh, they do a lot. And, and, you know, Especially it, when you get someone dying in your house and they come well, over, they the really same. realize six grand is well worth it. Yeah. 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 And we have 40, what is it, 40 percent of our, our town right now before the influx elderly. is elderly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, if you want to make it a round number, you could say five. That'd be okay with five. No. I won't stand in the way of progress. <laughs> And the other one that you no, know, we had had the request one was from the food bank, the yeah, good shepherds. Yeah, um, and uh, <clears throat> I think it was Sharon told me that most of the Berwick residents actually use the uh, Summersworth you no know, yeah. food bank. Yeah, that's what I had heard no. too. So yeah, most of their um, most of their uh, most of the, their population, at least with the Alfred. Is coming from northern, like Sanford, Barbara. Yeah, we're, we're talking about the York County Food Bank, right? Yeah, which is in which is in Alfred, right? Yeah. <clears throat> right. And so, we have we have the Summersworth one, and we have North Berwick. You know, right. But Alfred is asking us for money, and I think yeah. that most of our residents exactly. don't use it. Yeah, right. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Is like like you you go to North Berwick, you go to Su Summersworth, right. you know, before you go all the way to Alfred, you know, right. You're not going to go to the Sanford Food Bank when there's already Two, you know, less than twenty minutes away. Right. So, have we ever given to them before, or is this a new request? You mean, I think it's a new. I don't remember. I don't remember before. Not the North Berwick thing wants to come in. We haven't place. given it. I don't think we've given anything to anyone um, mm -hmm. since I've been here in two thousand nineteen. Right. What about coast? Do we do we do coast? Oh, we do coast. Coast, Coast, the Shipyard Association. Yeah, I was trying to think of that list those, that we had. Right, those are those are the historic ones that we've been given to. For yeah, but as far as the nonprofits, I don't think, I don't recall us giving anything no. to any organization. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't have a problem with the. Uh, Given five thousand dollars to the visiting nurses. <clears throat> as far as the food bank, um, is they were asking for what, a little over a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, and they said something like five or seven of our our residents made it over there this year. Yeah. Well, they're members. They're members. They're members, so they can okay. go more than once. Right. Well, um, yeah, I'm I'm willing to settle for that. You know, as we as is. No. It's our open bank for that one. <laughs> yeah. Any other budget items? I think that covers it. 
Any questions for James or Lisa regarding the budget as is? Putting a new police officer in? No. We did not. We said to wait, right? right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so move ahead. I uh, was just going to say, the, you know, we, we finalized it here is uh, we start doing the final readouts and stuff next week meeting, next week. Yeah, uh, tomorrow, Patty, Lisa, and I will meet and we'll put the warrant or start putting the warrant together and be ready for Tuesday. At so that we're, point, we're I'll meet Monday night and Tuesday night. Right? Sorry. Meeting. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the joint meeting. <clears throat> I, I can't be at that, but it's okay. So. I'll, I'll watch it. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so next week we're going to spend 40 minutes reading every article. And yeah. that ought to be fun. And um, bring some water. <laughs> that's not a bad some idea. Tea. Um, yes, so uh, second public comment. I'll, uh, I'll just. No public comment. Yeah. Town manager, town manager report. Sure, go ahead. Throw it in there. Just want to give an update on the water and just wanted to apologize to the folks that have lost water pressure again. Um, you know, I don't take it lately, and I know that when I turn the water on and when I'm at home and the water comes on, I just, I just can't imagine how inconvenient it is to not have water for the past few days. I do have some good news, and what happened was a blower from one of our filters went down. That piece was fixed and shipped back, um, and it, the, well, I heard this afternoon the plant's back and operating with both filters, so the pressure may take a day or so to come back, but we're heading in the right direction. I know the water operators have been working literally around the clock to keep the water tank um, level and pressure up as high as possible. I mean, literally pulling all-nighters to run off of one filter to keep it going. Um, and main water has already, uh, already been a help with um, helping with customer service. And there is a new notification system that will be in everyone's mailbox. Um, there's an intro letter from main water that should be hitting people's mailboxes either today or soon. And there's a way um, they've requested to, I think in the mailer, the template says, your number is blank, and if this is not your number, update us. And that will be the way that they can send, with our wave alerts, the way we can send notices, kind of blanket the whole town with notices, they can just send you know, people that are in the database. So it'll be more centralized. And, well, they had water, right? I mean, they had water, just no, not a lot of pressure, right? Like in that. the in the neighborhoods that are closest to the standpipe, there just isn't enough gravity. So when our standpipe is at less than sixty percent capacity, right, that's when pressure starts dropping off pretty significantly. Pretty so some quickly. people didn't have any pressure, or just a trickle, or for for extended period of time too, for four days. So. Is there a backup system for this? So that, and that's a great question is that main water is, um, so they've just started taking over operations and actually our interim designated operator, Joe, who I can't speak highly enough. He worked for maybe 10 or 15 hours a week at the water plant and um, really um, stepped up for us in a time where we really needed him. He's actually been hired Full time for Maine Water to work for the town of Berwick. <laughs> so, this was actually Monday was his first week working full time for Maine Water. So to have Joe there full time and the support of Maine Water, um, Mike Cummins, the vice president, um, he was at the plant, and they're going to take a good look at the water plant and start, you know, looking at duplications and making sure that we're not. Like this again, this is the second time where a piece where if we just had the replacement on hand, we wouldn't have any yeah, issues. Yeah. And Mike will be 
He'll do his first uh, biannual update the second meeting in April. So um, I don't remember if you mentioned this in an email or in the last meeting that the um, the pilot test came back good. Oh, absolutely. That, that, so that we are on track for the upgrades to the water plant to yep. start uh, construction this year. Um, I think if construction starts, it'll probably be end just with all the lead time and <clears> everything <throat> start. But if if not. End of this year, the beginning of 2024. And be online by the end of next year. And it's yeah. still still online for end of, end of 2024. Yep. Yep. So Main Water will oversee that construction. Yep. Main Water will. Yep. And they have experience. I think. I think it's nice to go out and see two or three Main Water trucks around town yeah. painting hydrants. It's like beautiful. Yeah. It, it just it's just good. And they have a 24/7 phone line and just have more people on call and. Um, they're super responsive to, I've been CC'd on some of the correspondence or customer service and yeah, I just feel bad. I mean, they, they knew what they were signing up for, but it's still, you know, feel bad. One of our components broke one of the first months they've worked with us. But like I said, they knew what they were signing up for. That's and, what they signed up for. Yeah. That's, that's what they do. And that's, yeah. yeah. Felt bad thank, for you the first goodness. month of your, your, your job here, but that's what you signed up for. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. <laughs> And the last thing I just have uh, scheduled the joint planning board, select board, and vision for meeting for March 13th. And um, just it's important to go over a few things. I think the timing works out um, to have a meeting then to go over a few things and talk through a few things. Okay. I um, just want to bring up one more thing. I, because of the storm, everything that was planned for Tuesday got moved to Wednesday, so I couldn't make it. But um, Maybe publicly we should say, how did the memorial dedication go? Good. That was good. Yeah. I saw the video. It was very nice. Yeah. 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 The, Almost there spoke. James, yeah. The memorial is stunning. It's, yeah. really it's, it's, very, it's yeah. very nice. And it's out front of the fire station, so anybody at any time can, you know, right. any town resident can swing by and take a look at oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's right there. And drive up by the police and fire up front, mm -hmm. yeah. I know, it's, it really is It's very nice. Stunning. Yeah. Water it's, it's good. good. Two years. It took two years, right? Yeah. To get everything all set because of the COVID and everything. They had it's trouble with the supplies last year. I wonder year. how much time they spent on that, making that. Mm. Do you know where the granite came from? I heard some lo local contractors. I no, believe. Right. No, 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 no. Where they, where they mine the granite? Yeah, I don't know. Probably Rock of Ages has black granite. Oh, I, have no, I have no idea. Yeah. Probably Rock of Ages, I bet. Anything else? That covers what I have. See you Tuesday. <laughs> That's right. it? Uh, well, see you Monday. See you Monday. She's um, psyched up for this year. Though. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I'll argument. end the second public comment. <laughs> and and um, <laughs> I'll make motion. a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All, right. All those in favor? Have a good evening, everybody. Yes, yeah. good night. Good night, Lisa.